Hi students, today my topic is effective mass of an electron. It means effective mass means the mass is not constant everywhere. That means the mass changes from place to place in the lattice. That is according to John theory or band theory. Now, according to this question, when an electron in a periodic potential accelerated by an electric field or a magnetic field then the mass of the electron varies with velocity this means the mass of the electron in this means the mass of the electron is function of velocity is termed as effective mass of the electron this can be denoted as m star the force acting on the electron F is equal to m star A. That means we know according to second law of Newton's F is equal to m A. But here F is equal to m star A. Then A is equal to F by m star. This is equation number 1. According to quantum theory, an electron moving with velocity V can be treated as a wave packet moving with a group velocity the group velocity vg is equal to d omega by dk omega means angular velocity and k means wave vector now for the solve this equation vg is equal to d by dk of 2 pi nu since we know omega is equal to 2 pi nu. Here we are replacing all the classical terms into quantum terms. So that is equal to 2 pi d by dk into nu. That is equal to 2 pi d by dk of e by h now eliminate this new value that is e by h since e is equal to h nu that gives nu is equal to e by h now h is a constant and write 2 pi by h and d e by d k the group velocity is equal to but this can be written as 1 by h cross into d e by d k according to Bohr that also since h cross is equal to h by 2 pi h cross is equal to h by 2 pi this is equation number 2 now we have to find acceleration I wrote this equation second here the acceleration now take uh, that is a is equal to d into vz by dt the differentiate this equation with respect to time then differentiate equation to with respect to t time that is a is equal to d vg by dt is equal to d by dt of 1 by h cross this is 1 by h cross d e by dk that is equal to then a is equal to 1 by h cross d by dt of d e by dk now multiply and divide by dk here for simplification multiply dk here then a is equal to 1 by h cross 
dk by dt this dk and this dk gets cancelled dk by dt then d square e by dk square sorry this multiply and divide by dk and d square e and dk square we have to multiply these two and these two okay this is dk square and then dk by dt a is equal to 1 by h cross dk by dt then d square e by dk square this is equation number 3 now find dk by dt find dk by dt we have to find we know according to modern theory p is equal to h cross into k this is equation number 4 according to modern theory differentiate equation 4 with respect to t now dp by dt is equal to h cross into dk by dt but according to newton's second law the rate of change of momentum that is dp by dt is nothing but force is equal to h cross into dk by dt so therefore dk by dt is equal to f by h cross this is equation 5 put equation 5 in equation 3 in this equation 3 here dk by dt then equation 3 becomes a is equal to 1 by h cross f by h cross d square e by dk square d square e by dk square then a is equal to then a is equal to f by h cross square d square e by dk square this is equation number 6 now we have to compare equation 6 and the first equation which is equation 1 then we get this is equation 6 and uh, this is equation 1 we have to compare this equation and this equation we get now comparing equation 6 and equation 1 that is 1 by m star is equal to 1 by h cross square d square e by d k square now i have to find m star value that is m star is equal to h cross square actually d square e by dk square inverse or m star is equal to h cross square d square dk square by d square e this equation the above equation gives effective mass of electron that means if I draw a graph like this 
this is m star versus k m star versus k then um, this is plus k this is minus k the effective mass will be like this at origin at origin the mass will be minimum at extreme positions where the k is maximum the wave vector is maximum the mass also maximum this is the simple graph this equation so you practice this question which is very important in the annual examinations and uh, subscribe my channel thank you